what's up and welcome to today's video. I am so excited because I'm going to be starting a new mini series on this channel. So basically, if you don't know, I love fashion, room decor, interior design, and all things designy. You guys can all go check out my videos and make sure to pause this video and subscribe for all of the videos I just mentioned. I want to incorporate more fashion on this channel because it's really something that I love so much. Style and all that fun stuff is just I love it. I love it. I decided that I would start a new series on my channel where I shop at stores I've never been to so I could try to get kind of a taste for what is out in the world and just stores I've never been to before. So today I tried to go to Hollister. I've never been to Hollister in my life and I've never shopped there and I've always wanted to because I've seen it all over Instagram. Like everyone's like Hollister. I've also never been to stores like Adidas, Urban Outfitters, Banana Republic and lots of different stores. I also think it's going to be interesting because I am obviously a kid and I've always been sad because kids only have so many stores to go to. Recently, I've decided that I want to start shopping at women's stores and seeing if their clothes can actually fit my kid size because I think it'd be really fun to find some new stores that I can shop at regularly and it might help you guys if you guys are struggling with the same thing. Like, you never really know where to shop other than, like, Forever 21 or something. So, like I said, today I'm going to be going to Hollister and I was so excited to start this experience and let me tell you, you guys are going to want to stay till after I go shopping. And let's get straight on with the video. That is cute. I'm trying on so much stuff in my bag. So that experience was one of my least favorite experiences ever. Obviously that's over exaggerated, but honestly being actually like in the store wasn't great. The store was loud, hot, so freaking hot. The hangers were heavy. The people working were really rude. The dressing rooms, I can't even get started. The dressing rooms were literally a curtain and like this much space of a dressing room. And then I walked in and there was like, somebody had clothes all over the ground. And so I had no time to think about like, okay, what outfits do I want? So the whole time I was just like picking up random stuff and like trying to cope because the store was so crazy. My mind was so like, ah! The second that I walked into the store, I thought it was Abercrombie or Abercrombie or however you say it. It literally looks just like that, but like with like more trendy stuff. And the clothes itself, I was like getting excited because they actually looked really cute and all of their stuff looked very my style. It's kind of Forever 21 mixed with Urban Outfitters. Ooh, chill, I'm so cool LA type of vibe. A very trendy and kind of edgy. But the actual store wasn't a pleasant experience at all. So it's a store that I would never want to be in again, but I do like what I ended up getting. So let me show you guys what I got. Here is my my bag. The challenge in this series is to try to pick at least three outfits that either I like or I don't like depending on the store and how I like the store. And I have to pick up three outfits that I would actually wear again, but I also got two extra things, which is pretty fun. I didn't realize how expensive Hollister was. One thing that I noticed a lot while I was in Hollister was their jeans were super inconsistent. Like, the same size jeans in like different colors. One would be way too small for me and one would be so big on me. I trade on a lot of clothes, I will say. So the first outfit, I wanted to go kind of out of my comfort zone because I saw this on the mannequin and it looked really cute on the mannequin even though it was a mannequin. And I was like, this is something I would never wear but I really like it. They're high-waisted and they're a bit long for me and they're just really cute. And then to go with that, I got this tight black halter top which I actually would totally wear. Like I think this is really cute. And together it's a pretty weird styled outfit that like I would never ever ever just pick out for myself if I was just at the stores but I do like it. most iffy about. So I got a band, bandeau, bandeau, I don't know. I got like a strapless top like this. Is it upside down? <laughs> and it has a really cool design on it. It's like black and white and kind of like boho. And then to go with it, I got a black denim mini skirt. I have a lot of these mini skirts in my own closet and I think a plain black one would be very useful. And to go with that, I really wanted to get like something, a really unique jacket. So I saw this one. It's like a snake skin dark green jacket, which is so not my color. I only really wear pastels. 
And so the fact that I did dark outfit is pretty cool, honestly. And it's like a crop top jacket. This also had a matching skirt that I tried on with it. I didn't like all of the green together, which is why I decided to do black. I really liked this bandeau top, but I couldn't find anything that was like vintage or boho enough to go with it. Everything was really edgy. And then for my third outfit, full outfit, I got this romper. It's really, really cute. It's like floral and short and cute and off the shoulder. I really like it and I like this pattern, especially for spring. I was happy to see the Hollister had a lot of rompers and jumpsuits. A lot of them didn't fit me because the legs would be too long, but it was still really cool. So if you guys are a little taller than me, I'm 5'2", um, you should get some jumpsuits at Hollister. Once I picked out all three of my outfits, I saw some things that I really liked that I didn't, didn't feel like spending an extra $200 on picking out outfits for them. So I just got like single pieces because I knew I had stuff at home that fit. So I got this lavender bluish top. I don't know. Is this purple or blue? Comment down below. A crop top. And Hollister had a lot of just like plain colored crop tops, which I really appreciate because I'm always looking for a good crop top sweater and it's really comfortable. I wore this actually this morning. Then I got this like crop top jacket, also sweater that I think is really trendy and I've seen a lot of people wear stuff like this and it's like it's like got a waistband here so it's tight I think both of these would just like go with like leggings and Adidas and then since I spent a specific I think it was $300 was the limit I got a little gift bag so let's see what's inside what is it? oh is it a perfume Ooh, that smells nice Aw, and it's like mini that's actually really sweet I got a candle oh that smells really good oh that's so nice of them so overall I felt like the store itself was very not like comforting and it was tiny their clothes are really pretty styles they just didn't fit me like I thought they would I know their clothes do run really small but I still feel like a lot of things were too big for me that I really did like like this outfit right here I really liked it but the pants were just a little too big that I just were like mm, I don't think this is gonna work out so comment down below which store I should go to next time and comment down below like your favorite store so I can get inspiration for where you guys think I should go I had so much fun filming this and I'm so excited for this series because I love trying out new stuff and it's just gonna be great so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video